My name is Justin Gaffrey with Gaffrey Art Material, and I'm going to talk about our new collection, La Luer. And La Luer is this collection of light colored paints. They're basically titanium white bases with some of our popular colors. And we've been building this collection, but this particular release collection is four colors, four new colors at least. We have a light dioxazine purple. So you can see right here, very uh, nice and soft. We have a light thalo blue right here. We have a light Hansa yellow. And then we have the light thalo green. Now I want to be able to explain the difference between our heavy textures because three of these, besides the light dioxazine purple, are all in our heavy textures. And these are medium viscosity colors. We'll probably do this one in a heavy texture soon too. So. Our medium viscosities are not thick like our textures, and they perform differently. And we use them a lot in backgrounds, we use them for glazing over our textures, and we, and we use them for mixing colors. And so I'm going to kind of demonstrate how they mix with colors, and how they glaze over, and how they work well with other colors. So I'm going to start basically with our titanium white. Okay, I'm going to do four little dollops here. And show you just the very basic of what these colors look like. So here's our light thalo green. Kind of like it the way it just showed half white. We have our light thalo blue. And then we have our light Hansa yellow. And then we have our light doxazine purple. Which is just a lighter version of the doxazine we just released a few weeks ago. But we also have a few other colors that are like that. We have our rose quartz and our periwinkle, which are work very good with these colors too. So right here, what's good about these colors is they work really well together. So if I just mix all these together, they still work together. And that's what's really cool about, you know, certain palettes, when you bring them together, you can't really mess them up that much. But I also want to show you how they mix with, let's say, light Hansa yellow and doxazine purple. So basically, I do a lot of painting in pastry bags. I do palette knife work in pastry bags. I'm going to coat, actually I'm going to drop just a star tip here, this is a French star, inside this bag, and I'm going to coat it with the light doxazine purple. And I'm just going to coat the bag. And you see now, there's not much paint in there. It's just kind of a hollow coating inside. And then I'm going to fill inside with light Hansa yellow. And what's cool about this is now on the outside of everything we pipe out, it's going to be coated in purple and it's going to glow through the yellow as it comes out. Got to cut that beforehand. Okay, so here we go. So you can see here it looks purple, but this, I always get excited about this because the way the other colors glow through, or even just white, through the outer colors. And so we're going to be able to see, I'll start up here, how you can see the yellow glowing through. You see how you could just see yellow through there? So you get this nice blend of color, which is kind of interesting. It's hard to do that by hand. So you can see how that certain angles makes it glow a little bit more and you can see it. I love this stuff. It always excites me when that happens. So, so I'm going to show it again with, let's see here. Let's do turquoise. Oh wait, any other tip? So if you want to learn more too about if you want to work with the bags, there's so many options. You don't have to use pastry ticks. I draw with these bags with just straight lines. But this right here, I'm just showing this as a basic demonstration. But if you study cake decorating, it could give you a lot of tips how to operate within this system and you're just using paint instead of um, icing. So this bag, I'm going to line with thalo green. So I'm going to line it with a light thalo green. So right here is our rose quartz texture, okay? So here's what it looks like on its own. 
One of my favorite colors. Love that color. But now we're going to see what it looks like when it's coated in the uh, light phthalo green. So I'm just going to pipe this into the bag. And so now you can see it looks like you can see a little bit of the rose quartz coming through. But now this one, huh, this really is cool. If you could see that, I don't know if you could see it up that close, but look how that rose quartz just glows right through there. And seeing those, it just, that's a, that's a really unique color combination. And it's kind of hard to do that by hand. So you can do that, of course, with a palette knife. I'll show you here too. So I've just got a little bit of um, the light phthalo green on here. And I'm gonna, and so you can see the way they kind of hover over and you can see the glowing through there and those little lines and you see that, it just has a very organic look. And I love that right there too. And so a lot of times once I get it to look exactly like that on the palette knife, I don't touch it again. So that's, a, that's, that's with palette knife and that's with a bag right there. Then I also wanna bring in like our green. This is a deeper green, you know. Greens can help balance all this. Our Marge green would probably work really good with this right here too. Let's see, we'll try um, some of this light Hansa yellow here. And kind of. And so right here, so this is what's cool. Okay, so we have, I know this is kind of some nuanced detail, but if you look at that, the way the chartreuse kind of just lightly glazes over the, um, rose quartz coming in it pulled in a little bit of the turquoise and the yellow so when i get a stroke like that and that little swirl and all that stuff i want to leave it alone because it has a very organic look the way those colors blend together i see a blue will just tie this all together i don't know we'll see i'm just going to swoop it across so that's all these colors together. And it's still, this is very, it's like a carnival in here. It's very festive and fun. But, you know, when I made these colors, I was thinking about flowers. Inevitably, I thought about Easter. And that's what that feels like. But when you start mixing them with some deeper tones, it kind of tones them down a little bit. So there's some green in there that really warms it up a little bit. And I want to talk about something else. So over here, so Kristen Anderson, he's an artist, a friend of ours. And he painted this painting in here today. And so what's cool about this, he had no intention, did not even know about this new color release that we leave, that we put out yesterday. And he saw them sitting here in the studio and he just grabbed the blue and then he grabbed the turquoise. And then he grabbed the purple, not knowing that these were all part of our new collection. And Kristen's work here is way different than thinking about flowers and Easter eggs. And what I love, I love this painting because it feels really nice. I love the color, but he balanced it really well with these organic tones of this old paper, this old fabric. You can see the warmth of all these old papers and that slash of orange and black just really brought it together and took away all that softness and just made a great balance of color. He's, I was kind of really amazed watching him do this today. And I love the way he pulled those colors into this painting. So it doesn't have to be all Eastery and flowery. This is his interpretation and I absolutely love it. So I hope you really enjoy these new colors. I am excited about every new color we do and I wanna hear from you what colors you want or anything in art materials because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help everybody with their art careers. And so go to gaffreyart.com and enjoy our new collection. How do you say it? Game La Luer. La Luer. So there you have it.
Sous-titrage